Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Rice Krispies, Cocoa Puffs, Cheerio. Oh, it's backwards. It's supposed to be Cheerio, Rice Krispies, Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, you know how it gets when it's, you know, getting to the 9 o'clock hour here at night and me and my brain start getting all ding dong. Nobody's home. I'm missing one part of my combo meal. All right. So let's do those sneakers. You know the sneakers. So I don't know who this is person is who <laughs> I'm not hip and cool I'm jamming to the uh, 80s in the grocery store okay so we all know where I am uh, whoever this dude was little Naz X why do they all have the name Lil I swear that there's a bunch of uh, artists and they all have the name Lil L-I-L Lil Lil such a weird name. Lol. <laughs> I don't know. I you'd think there was some other words they'd want to use. It'd be like Lil John. I know Lil John. But then it's like Lil Naz, is that his name? I don't know. I, that's why I have written in the notes. Lil Naz X's. His special El Diablo shoes. Um, so we're gonna look into about like, was there really blood in there? <laughs> Who's? Um, what's the purpose? Um, I was like, what What happens to the people who wear these things? So I guess, though, it was like they put the shoes up for sale. There was a limited number of shoes available. You can guess the number. And, and then I think Nike came in and said, knock it off. <laughs> and But it, I don't know why, how Nike came into this. Because I don't think Nike manufactured them. But I guess they didn't want their brand associated with it. That's what I think it was. I don't know. All I know is that I I wasn't going to be buying a pair of them. Uh, anyhow, so let's look into, let's look in, where is, what is the point of these no bueno El Diablo shoes? I, you know, nobody's going to be wearing those things to church unless it's, Church of El Diablo, and then maybe they are. Maybe it's a new tire. Maybe it's like the Hale Bop gang, and they all got their Nikes and a roll of nickels to put in their pocket with their purple shroud trying to catch a comet. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. You know, I'm not down with what the cool kids do. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be a part of that group. Okay. Let's look. What is the whole point behind these shoes? Shoes. And then I get Johnny Cash's song in my head. Burning ring of fire. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the energy behind this is death. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Please hold. I'm lighting the sage up in here. <laughs> it's not good. Here, you have some too. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm telling you, it's not good. Okay. So, obviously, behind that, not it's not good. It's not just a, um, ha ha funny. Like, yeah, that's not it. Um, it's not going, it doesn't, to like people who are like not awake, that's all I'll say. People who are not awake, uh, they're just going to think that this, ooh, it's a creative, it's edgy or something. Um, that's how <clears throat> it's being uh, perceived by some dum-dums that would like think that was a cool idea, okay? Um, it, it feels like it didn't go as far as they wanted it to. Um, like, I think they were expecting, they were gonna, here's our second edition, or whatever they say when you come out with the next line. Um, but then they got the, uh, 
they got a cock block and they got eh, can't no more with us um on the face of this th yeah this is supposed to be like i somebody was like supposed to benefit from this but it was lies right it was like i don't know who was supposed to benefit from this this was like <laughs> it, it was a bait and switch it's almost like uh, say you gave your money to, money to some scammer on the road or by the freeway exit and it's like it says like uh, feed me and you're like oh sure and you give them money and then they turn around and they're just like they're not using the money for food they're using it to buy these El Diablo sneakers kind of thing um, so I don't know if there was secretly some type of cause like that behind it I don't know what the cause is but that's what this is saying um And it also feels like whoever was behind this, I don't think whoever this ding dong is, I don't think this is his idea. It feels like there's somebody up there and they're kind of mad that this didn't go further. Like this didn't go all the way out as they wanted. Like this became a dud and it's like very El Diablo. I don't like uh, this. This, yeah, this is playing, this was like shenanigans, uh, bait and switch for, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know who this person is. I don't want to go research him, but it feels like, is he like, has he been around a while? Is he like not new? I don't know. It feels almost like, um, like connecting <laughs> connecting with your audience that you've had and it's kind of like good old times of I don't know El Diablo worship I don't know it's weird um kind of like look what I created like hey remember me and I <sighs> like if I was putting this into my old people thinking this is like this would be like I could equate to um if he wasn't warranted oh, say George Michael just came out with a record okay so say George Michael didn't didn't pass away and he was still here and it's been all these years and then all of a sudden he comes out with a, a record and everybody's like yay i'm so happy that's kind of how this feels like i don't know is that what i don't know about this guy but that it feels like something like that if it's not that guy it's a queenie lady behind it i don't know if it's like we're trying to make el diablo accessible to the masses in a new way perhaps um but I don't know, like, it feels like uh, whoever this little Naz X or whatever, uh, it feels, watch his name, supposed to be little Naz 10 or something, and I'm total old, old balls over here. Anyway, <laughs> it feels like they thought this was the right person to sell the shoes, but because things didn't go as planned, like, like limited edition two or version two or whatever it is, they're kind of disappointed with this. This did not roll out in the way that they wanted for their nefarious deeds. This is sell. This is like loss of soul. This is death of soul. This is like a uh, joining the El Diablo gang. So there, it feels like there is some like dirty, not good undercurrent with those things, those shoes. Like mm, that's. Mm. No boy, no. This is like no boy, no. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can figure out whose plasma was in the shoes. I don't even know. Do people call it plasma? I don't know. I'm starting to lose more and more of my words I used to have. I'm replacing them with other weird facts. You know, like somebody posted something on Facebook about Eric Estrada and I was like hey I remember from back in the day there used to be an Inquirer magazine cover and it said that Eric Estrada uh, got a divorce because his wife said his feet were smelly and I'm like why do I have that random thing stuck in my brain weird but yet I'm like do they call blood plasma I don't know I'm confused God only knows what words I'm supposed to be allowed to say anymore here but Let's leave, let's just go with plasma. Whose plasma was in these shoes? 
in sapatos. All right. Or maybe there was none at all. Maybe it was just a bunch of BS, but I don't know about that. But we'll look. We'll look and see. Look. Look at those two young humans. It's not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> this is not good. This is, um, I don't know if the Eyes Wide Shut has like prom king and queen or whatever they call themselves over there. Um, uh, it, this, this, I wouldn't touch these shoes with a 10 foot pole. I wouldn't touch them with your hands. I wouldn't touch them with, uh, nobody's hands. I wouldn't get near them. And, oh, this was like these things, these shoes have plasma from them in it. Um, and this is like a very much like a, this is a ritual eyes wide shut party. Um, there, there, and again, there was, they definitely had, I think that the biggest concern they had about this was their rep <laughs> selling these things effectively. I don't know why, because I think they're all sold, but. I guess they're just thinking that something about their selling scheme, it's not, it didn't go as they had intended, but this is looking like they're, they know that they're still like a test market, test market. They're hoping for limited edition two or version two or whatever. Um, this, yeah, it was a test market as sick as it is. It's trying to see like, what a can we sell them b what's your action in the marketplace how much pushback are we getting it's like pushing the door open to see like peekaboo are you ready for el diablo oh not everybody yet okay bye that's what this was Ugh. i don't like this shit at all all right uh <laughs> let's see um uh what happens to these people wearing these things Oh, God, protect me. Oh, God. Look. Back in the day, I would not have bought into this kind of stuff. But I was probably like a lot of the people who are uh, asleep now. And who had been like, that's all a bunch of hooey. <laughs> that stuff wouldn't happen. Don't be so stupid. And then it's like, mm, yeah, no. I've seen too much weird stuff to say. <laughs> That's just hooey. All right. What happens to these uh, people that uh, are wearing these zapatos? What happens to these people who wear these zapatos? Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to have to burn my sage bundle and my husband will think I've lit the house on fire once I'm done with this reading. Ugh. It's not good. <laughs> the energy behind this is like, what have I done? What have I done? This is like twisted. This is a, this messes. It's almost like a, um, like a voodoo doll kind of thing. Uh, where these people are like, they are not doing good. This, like, this limited exposure, if you happen to be one of these people who, I don't know why you'd be watching my channel, but uh, no bueno on these zapatos, okay? So this is going to put a lot of, um, I don't know why I'm thinking Thomas the Train, but Sir Topham had great confusion. 
these people are not going to know which way is up. They're not going to know which way is good. It's a, this is intended to destroy their moral compass. This is meant to mess with um, any type of connection they had to God. This is, that's, no. This is, this is all bad, bad stuff. And in the center of it, remember there's this young ones and this is it it's also it's a reprogramming type thing there's the confusion they don't know which way is up and it's almost like subconscious subliminal something under the surface this is like trying to get them to have a spiritual awakening the wrong way the wrong way <laughs> that's what ugh. so this is meant to jack them up No good. Okay. Well, I've had enough of this read and those dirty little zapatos. I don't want any more of that. Alrighty then. I would say thanks for watching, but I feel like we're both going to have to go get a spiritual cleansing after we're done with this time on the video. Ugh. Okay. Well, stay away from the shoes. No bueno. Alright. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>